Alec and today I'm here with Murray, one of the senior executives at Digbit. And today we are going to be giving you a tour of their facilities. So here we have some cranks and two huge storage towers which are very clever. So basically if you wanted any parts you would click on this tablet and they will come down from these shelves and then you would be able to get them. Each shelf can hold about one ton worth of weight. So here we have some buckets and tracks and the tracks are from Sri Lanka and the buckets are made just across the road in their manufacturing facility which we'll get to in a bit. Some of the equipment here is made from hard ox steel, which is supplied by a company in Sweden. Now let's get on to some of the buckets, the crushers, the tracks, and we have a new product, which is pretty much an oversized garden brush, and you can take it off with these bolts and use a rake instead. And here we have some different kinds of buckets, all for different things. You've got thinner buckets, you've got destruction made of hard ox, you've got bigger buckets, you've got huge buckets over here. You've got very skinny ones for small amounts of groundwork. Here we also have some tracks for, made in Sri Lanka. There's some a grabbing tool up there. And this is a tarmac dumper bucket. And there is also a huge bucket which you would use for landscaping. Here's another tarmac dumper bucket. And usually there would be a bit more tracks here, but at the moment it is very hard to get crates from the east. And here we have some of the biggest buckets in this storage facility. These crushers are for when you have some small amount of slabs or bricks or anything and don't want to afford a skip. So you get it crushed down and you can use it for hard tour or or on the job. And now I think we're going to head over to manufacturing. Here we have a Digbit truck which they usually deliver the smaller parts over to their clients. Like these ones over here and this is the attachment which you can attach either a rake to or a oversized brush. I have now handed over Murray and I just want to show you that there are multiple different uses for Digbit's buckets. You can even make your old ones into planters. So here we have some state-of-the-art kit to make some of the state-of-the-art buckets. And here we have some scrap metal poles that they may melt down to make into different things. We are now going into the specialist robot facility, which they will make a lot of the smaller attachments which you would use to attach your bigger attachments. Here we have what seems to be something you would use to cut holes through your attachments and make these things here. This also seems to be where they sort out the poles to make them into separate sizes, then drill holes into them to make it suitable for the attachments. Here we have one of the things used on the attachments to attach them to the end of your digger. As you can see, there's all different shapes and sizes for these kind of things. So now we have seen that, we are now going to have a look at their spraying booth, which they then brand all of their buckets so you know it's theirs. We are now going to head towards the welding department. 
which they will weld some of the different things together to make different buckets. Here we have a shaping of a bucket. As you can see, there are very good welds on these buckets after they have been shaped and then they use the poles that we were talking about over there to finish it off and then they will end up adding the piece to attach it via welding. Here we have a huge bucket which seems to be on a crane like arm which you would use to move it over from side to side. So that's it from the welding department. I hope you liked the tour. And it's now time for me to go pick up Maury again and give him something to eat. We will just finish it off where everyone comes and usually f finishes their business with dig bits to come and collect their equipment. So it's goodbye for me and goodbye for Maury.